Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Fancy, and welcome to a tutorial video. Now, the purpose of this video is to help new players that are coming into the game. Can be a little bit overwhelming when you first boot up Star Citizen. It's not 100% clear what you should be doing or what you can do in the game. And today, I'm hoping I'm going to shed a bit of light onto uh, that topic and help some of these new people out there joining Star Citizen. Just before we start, I've left a link in the description below to a link to the Star Citizen site where you can take a look at the package page. And also, there's a, my referral link there as well that will give you some in-game cash if you're thinking about signing up. Okay, so let's get started. When you spawn in for the first time in Star Citizen, you will spawn in at Port Olisar. This is the main spawning location. When you come down to the bottom of the stairs, you will see the center terminals. This is where you select your ship. Your main tool inside of Star Citizen is your Moby Glass. On the first tab, you will notice that you have comms. This is where you can see the main chat channel and also you can see your friends in your friends list as well. If you want to invite someone from your friends list, what you need to do is right click and then once you've right click, you can invite them as well. You can add people from here as well and also you can remove. It can be used for hailing for landing, for instance, if I was flying into Port Olisar, I could then click on this and it would request landing. So moving on, the next one in the tab is your ship loadout. So on this tab, you can view the ships you own. So you can select one of your ships. And then what you can do is then you can swap out individual weapons, power plants, and so on. These items can be bought from Port Olisar if you run around the edges of the outside of this center console area. Moving on to the next tab, we have your suit selection. So this is once you've bought a new suit or maybe a new weapon and you want to equip it on your character, you simply come into this menu, select from whatever item you've purchased or you would like to equip. Like for instance, I can de-equip this now by unequipping and then I click on save and then it de-equips it from the character. You can do exactly the same with the suits and also the general clothing. Next up is the star map. The star map is going to be your go-to for navigating around Star Citizen. If you just scroll back on the mouse wheel to get yourself this view, and if you hold left mouse button, you can move up and down as well. If you double click on one of the locations, for instance like Hurston, it then expands that area out, and then you can carry on clicking even further if you choose to. To set a destination to jump to, simply select the location and then once you're in your ship, just select route. But we'll show you that once we get inside of a ship in a minute. Next up, we have your journal. The journal is just here for entries that you've done in the past. The next one in line is the Liveworks AR. This gives you the ability to walk up to your ship and remove and de-remove modules live from the ship when the ship's in front of you. This was used in the hangar module as well quite a while ago. Next in line is the repair, restock and refuel. This can be used when you are landed on pretty much any pad. So if you land on a pad somewhere, as long as it's manned, you can land and open this menu up while you're in the cockpit and then just click on what you want to refill and rearm and click on confirm. And the final one is the missions. Now with the missions, you have a few options. You have basic general missions here. You have personal missions that are, you know, appointed to you only. You've got accepted, which is clearly quite straightforward. And then you also get history as well. The last one down the end here is beacons. What you can do with this is if you get stranded in a location, you can create a beacon. Uh, you can select combat assist, personal transport, and so on, so on. You can fill all this out and you can put a payment as well. So you can say, I want to go to this location, to this location, and I'm willing to pay X amount of money. And then once you broadcast that, players can then come and pick you up or kill you, depending on how they feel. <laughs> well, that's an overview of the Moby Glass, very short and sweet. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to select a ship and load some cargo and then we will accept a mission and then talk about some other key things that will help you along the way. Starting off with cargo. If you want to do a cargo mission, it's very, very easy to do. This is the ship terminal that is in the center here. Just behind me here, these little side terminals, 
This is a trading terminal. You will see these around in different locations, i.e. on planets on moons. Simply select the ship you've got. Let's say for the freelancer. Going to click medical supplies. How many you want. Purchase medical supplies. Thank you very much. So then medical supplies are now loaded into that ship. And if I move down to the console here, and now can I can select my ship. Your ship has been delivered to the following landing pad. It tells you the pad number on the screen. It doesn't matter if you don't see the pad number because when you walk away, you can actually see, look there, you can see the icon. It highlights it for you so it's easy to find. Now you've got the cargo loaded up, you're sort of ready to go. I'll leave a link to a Excel spreadsheet in the description below where it will tell you all the trading prices you can get for all the different types of goods. So here we are, you can see we've got the cargo on board. Okay, I've decided to spawn in a, an Avenger Stalker and I'm going to take you through some of the controls, some of the basic controls. There is a main key inside of Star Citizen, it is F or depending what it, you're going to bind it to. If you hold down F, it gives you this sort of free look ability and it will highlight anything that is interactable around the area. So for instance, once that little round dot shows, then that obviously highlights that there's something that you can interact with. Okay, so let's jump in. Once again, hold down your F key. If there's more options, if you're on the exterior of the ship, it will give you more options and you just move the mouse up and down to select which option you prefer. And once again, this follows through once you get inside the cockpit. If you hold down F again, it gives the ability to select the controls. There are some quick controls that you can bind in as well. One of the handy ones is definitely H, is to get out the seat quickly. You can get out the seat by holding down F and looking this way and see exit there. So there are two ways. You can just use F all the time if you choose to. Okay, let's go into uh, flight ready. Aegis combat assist activated. Systems green. Now simply press space bar for up and then obviously use your standard, your normal navigation controls. When you take off, your landing gear will clearly be down and you will need to detract it. And you can do that by pressing N. Landing gear retracted. Okay, next up is navigating. So how do you navigate? Simply by pressing F1, then click on your star map. You can then see the full star map. You can then click on a location let's say we want to go to Daymar Daymar set I can click on select route you would notice that this line goes solid now that means the route is set so if I close my mobile glass down now you will see there's a little green arrow at the corner of the screen showing you the direction there it is so we point ourselves on once you're on target you will notice at the top there it says waiting to spool if you just tap B once it will then spool up and then when it's completed spooling simply hold down B so at this point you should have a little bit of an understanding of the basic controls for Star Citizen once you've done this, you can then choose to select one of the missions by going to the mission page. Once you've found a mission that you're interested in doing, select on accept. Close your mobile glass down. You will notice just above at the top of the screen, there's a marker appeared. Press B to open your quantum computer. At this point, you can hold to jump to that location. There is actually another option that you can do. The quantum computer will take you to that location, but if you press F1, go into the star map, zoom right out, you will notice there's this weird looking, probably a square, but a different angle marker here. And if we zoom right in, here we go, you can see it there now. So there are a couple of ways you can traverse. I can set on that location now. 
It is safer to use the F1 key because sometimes there's a marker on top of a marker, if that makes sense. Sometimes there's two locations on top of each other. So by doing it this way, we will then definitely come out at that destination. Now, once you're in quantum, what you can do, if you hold down B, it will actually pull you out of the quantum. It's always handy because you might change your mind if you're doing a long jump. Quantum travel complete. The next thing you need to know is how to clear your crime stat. If you look in the top right hand corner of the screen, you will notice that there is a, a man's head with a target on it and little red blobs around the edge. The higher the crime stat, the higher that moves round and that also varies the missions that you can receive. Once it's actually full, some of the stations and some of the locations will shoot you on site, and also it means that other players can shoot you with no penalization on their behalf. So, let's go and clear our crime stat. First off, open your mobile glass. We are going to Crusader, Selin, Security Post, Korea, Set Location, Travel complete. So now you've arrived at Korea, the things to keep in mind is this is a free fire zone. So there could be people waiting inside. So first of all, you should land or either that or hide your ship somewhere else. Then head inside and look for the center console. Once you see the console, all you need to do is go up to the console and click and select use. Then, depending on how many crime stats you've got, you need to wait until the crime stats clear down. The bigger the crime stat you've got, the longer it takes, but as it gets smaller, down to like one or two, it then does move a lot faster. I suggest that you take a weapon with you. You can pull your weapon out by pressing one or two if you've selected an assault rifle. You can purchase a full array of weapons in Star Citizen by just visiting some of the stores. Well, overall, guys, I hope this um, video's helped you out. There's lots more to do in Star Citizen. If you carry on playing their missions, they will take you through to the storyline missions as well, when you've got to go and talk to different characters and they give you particular missions. And what's going to be really cool is later on down the line when we get ship rentals, you can purchase ships right now, but they're quite expensive if you're coming in with a star ship. So ship rentals are really going to open up a lot of gameplay for a lot of us. I'm definitely looking forward to that. So I hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you're looking to join a Star Citizen organization or just come and hang out and chat about Star Citizen, check out the link in the description below. That's it from me. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.